got an array of berries here this morning. So we've got these purpley ones here. And then in the background we've got some red ones. And then down here the white ones, all in the same little patch. Oh, so cool. a very windy day here today and all night as well I think at one point I woke up thinking an animal was trying to headbutt me in my sleep because the wind was like whacking the back of my tent where my head is so it was just I don't know I just didn't sleep well that combined with being full of cold as well so it's been a bit slow going today and also I think my body's trying to give up I'm just having a lot of problems with my left foot at the moment it's the top of it from like the ankle to the toe area so it's all the top so every time I step it's it hurts basically I think it might be the tendon or the ligament or something that's there so it's I'm taking some ibuprofen just to see if I can take the swelling down on it but it's a little bit slow going but I have to keep an eye on it and hopefully it'll be all right and it might just be one of those twinges that lasts a few days but today has been glorious the sun has been lovely but it has been that windy you can't really stop for long because it's actually quite chilly as well but I've been walking along a ridge line with lovely views of Mount Shasta so that has been nice but I'm not going to talk for long because I'm conscious that it is windy and you probably get a lot of wind noise on the microphone so I will speak to you when it's a little bit more sheltered later I've just collected some water at Moosehead Spring and had some lunch, sat there for a little while. There's a nice little rock that I sat on. The next section I think I've got about nearly 12 miles without any reliable water so I've just carried a couple of litres with me because it's a warm day and it's been pretty quiet. I have still not seen a single soul since setting on the PCT just yesterday, the day before, since Bernie Falls. It's so strange not seeing anybody out here. It's very, it's kind of eerie in a way, just walking around. And I'm starting to think, am I in a bit of a dream? <laughs> Is this real? <laughs> so if there's anybody out there that wants solitude, hike Northern California in the beginning to the mid September. <laughs> it's so quiet. <laughs>
morning. It is a beautiful day here this morning. It's it's one of those fairy tale mornings, you know, where all the birds are tweeting and the weather's just the perfect temperature. The sunrise on Mount Shasta was all pink and gorgeous. I showed you around my tent site this morning. It was so, so beautiful. It made me really happy. I just kind of crawled out my tent just as the sun was rising and just stood there and took it all in, which I absolutely love doing on a morning. But yesterday, oh my goodness, yesterday was just a disaster. It just turned out to be one of those days on trail where I just ended up feeling worse as the day went on. And I, I woke up full of cold, as usual. For the last few days, I've just been feeling like that. And it got to about 11 o'clock in the morning, 12 o'clock, and I was just literally, all I wanted to do was curl up in a ball and sleep. I just felt so bad. And I trudged on till about four o'clock, but I was going so slow. I think I only did about 12 or 13 miles yesterday. And I just got to that point where I'm like, I just need to sleep. I just need to curl up in a ball. So I set up camp and I hadn't even made it to my last water source. <laughs> so I had about one liter of water and I just thought, do you know what, <laughs> I don't care. I just need to sleep. So I had a much better sleep last night and I've woken up feeling a bit better. And my ankle's still a bit sore as well, but it's not too bad. It's not getting worse and it's a little bit more bearable so I'm thinking that that might be on the mend um, but I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping today I'll start feeling better I do feel a bit clearer, um, I've been coughing a lot this morning and as you can hear I'm, probably, I'm still bunged up but I am feeling a little bit better so I'm not too bad today so I literally stopped filming yesterday afternoon and I just didn't have the energy so I am so sorry but I tried my best <laughs> One thing that did happen yesterday that completely frightened me, I was walking around the trail and all of a sudden I just heard this rattling and this huge rattlesnake was literally on the side of the trail and it was just going into the bushes. Um, it was sunbathing just on the side of the trail and oh my gosh, it was huge. I swear it was probably about between four and five foot long. Um, I couldn't believe it. I tried to get a little clip of it, which you probably put just in the video before. Um, but it wasn't very clear focus, but it was huge and it was one angry little rattlesnake So it gave me a right old warning. So I'm glad I was keeping my eye out on the trail But apart from that nothing really eventful happened yesterday. It was just kind of a plodding on kind of day I saw one person yesterday. I actually saw a human and they literally passed me and said hello And that was like five seconds. So in three days I've seen one person it is so strange. I'm still kind of feeling like I'm on the wrong path or something. <laughs> but it's supposed to be a lovely sunny day again today. I've got a nice easy day actually. I've not got much um, elevation, probably only about two and a half thousand feet today. I think I've got about 5,000 foot descent. So a nice gentle slope downhill this afternoon. This is what other hikers do to help you out when you're looking for things. They put little cairns, so that's showing me where to go for the water. As well as some arrows, <laughs> just in case I wasn't sure. <laughs> The moss on this tree, it looks like velvet, it is so bright as well. 
Wow.